What's up guys and what a historic day, Samsung has done something very overpowered that will make the base for their future plans. The Samsung Galaxy S10 is once again hot in the news, some interesting inside details about the HUD that runs the beast is now out and also some signs of a strong software features are ahead as well. So first up, the Samsung Galaxy A9 2018, the first phone in this world to rock a four camera setup on the back. You guys remember this video which I made almost a month ago saying that Samsung is working on a phone with four cameras on the back. And some of you said that it's probably just two cameras on the back and two cameras on the front. Like seriously, do all those guys want you to get up and look yourself in the mirror cause only then you will realize that you are in 2018 and Samsung is already in 3018. Four cameras on the back, world's first phone to have such an overpowered thing. Everything is great about this phone overall, a 3800mAh battery, a wide lens, a super wide lens, zoom lens as well as a depth sensing lens. The only camera lens that is missing is the monochrome lens which we might see on another Samsung phone with 5 cameras, who knows. We have a 1080p Super AMOLED display, a Snapdragon 660 processor, bravo they have done it but remember it is a mid-range phone and what they'll do with the galaxy s10 will be even more overpowered and of course all of that will happen without a notch and i had to mention that because samsung has been roasting the ship out of google on twitter google posted this saying that this is the pixel 3 seriously we thought this was the pixel 3 i mean your phone was unboxed two months ago it was everywhere even some people were selling your phone and still you're acting like nothing happened like seriously and all the pixel ultra drama wow so samsung mobile us twitter account as savage they are they went in the comment section and said you could land a plane on it obviously in reference to that ugly big notch that the pixel 3 xl has and and of course with the biggest chin as well google at this point is like a meme and they're embracing it that's pretty much all i have to say as samsung themselves say not everyone is born to lead like clearly this this is not the phone to lead anyways let's continue with the video the heart that runs the beast qualcomm snapdragon 8150 previously known as qualcomm 855 has been detailed we talked about its benchmark we saw its existence inside the leaked android 9.0 pi based experience 10.0 ui along with the existence of the samsung galaxy f aka the winner lte more on that later but now let's take a look inside what Qualcomm has been cooking. So Snapdragon 8150 is the chip for the US market, the third seven nanometer chip we have. First is of course Apple A12 and second is the Huawei Kirin 980. So the new Snapdragon processor has the same mindset as before. So four high-end gold cores clocked at 2.6 gigahertz and then four silver cores clocked at 1.7 gigahertz. The clock speed can change in the final version because this is a test chip, one of the early ones, and this chip will overall be very efficient compared to the Snapdragon 845 thanks to being seven nanometer, but the size of the chip is actually the same as Snapdragon 845 because of its external dimensions which are still the same coming at 12.4 by 12.4 millimeter. The most interesting thing will be a dedicated neural engine a NPU for the AI task. This is something Huawei has done already with their Kirin 970 processor. If Qualcomm 8150 comes with AI chip, then that means that Exynos 9820 model of the Galaxy S10 will also going to have a dedicated AI chip. With the help of AI and software, Samsung can take its camera game 
to the next level. Despite having a superior hardware, we don't really see Galaxy Note 9 dominating a phone like a Pixel 2 XL in terms of picture quality because Google, as bad they are with the design, they are still the king when it comes to the software optimization with the camera. So Samsung also has to bring the software at the same level as their hardware is. The Galaxy S10 will still be having the main camera as the S9 family with addition of super wide and a telephoto lens. And with all of this, Samsung has to implement some major software tricks. Huawei has introduced something called night mode in their Huawei P20 Pro that allows it to literally see in dark as the best low light slash night photo game compared to the competition. And Google also did something similar with the Pixel 3 and now it's Samsung's turn. With a dedicated NPU, we can expect some major improvements and changes with the software and the camera. Also, the colors are set to be finalized with this tweet from samsungmobile.news via All About Samsung, they said that it's confirmed that Beyond phones, which include Galaxy S10, S10 Plus, and S10 Lite, will include black, white, silver, gray, pink, and the most awaited emerald green color. As I've said before, emerald green is the color in which I'm most interested in. Another confirmation thing that happened is the certification. Now, I know you guys have your doubts, and all I can say is that don't doubt anymore because three Galaxy S10 models are indeed happening. According to the listings, China's Ministry of Industry and Information Technology, they have received a three smartphone certification on September 25th. The first model number is G9700, then the second one is G9730, and the third one is G9750. This completely follows the model number leak that we saw from Ice Universe a couple of weeks ago. So S10 Lite, S10, and S10 Plus are indeed coming. So quickly tell you the differences here. The S10 and S10 Lite will have a 5.8 inch display, whereas the S10 Plus will come with a much larger 6.44 inch display. But the edge display will only be limited to S10 and S10 Plus. The S10 Lite will have a normal flat AMOLED display. Triple cameras with the S10 Plus, dual cameras with the S10 and S10 Lite. All of them will feature super wide angle lens. Just the S10 Plus will have a telephoto lens thanks to an extra camera sensor. And now let's talk about the winner LTE, aka the Galaxy F, aka the Foldable B. So clearing a confusion about the recent unveiling of Galaxy F. So Samsung is expected to only unveil the specs and some information about this phone next month in November, not the actual phone. So the actual release is expected to happen next year at CES. In the beginning, in January 2019, that could be the month for this unveiling. As for the latest rumors, the Galaxy F will feature a 7.3 inch screen when it's unfolded. And when you fold it, it's going to have a 4.6 inch display. The display on the Galaxy F will not be protected by Gorilla Glass. Instead, Samsung will be using a transparent polyamide produced by Sumitomo Chemicals. It will be more flexible than Gorilla Glass because flexibility is the most important thing with these foldable phones. Now, it's definitely not going to be for everyone because the price is expected to be above $1,800. And you might think to yourself that why do you need a flexible phone and why even these companies are bothering to make one? The reason why all these companies are doing this is because there is a huge market for it. According to the recent research by DSCC, the global shipments for foldable phone could reach as much as 53 million units annually in less than of a five years of time. And that could generate a lot of revenue up to 6.7 billion dollars for smartphone market alone in the year 2022. So all these companies like Huawei, Samsung, LG, and even Apple have plans for a foldable phone. Again, we'll see how useful it will be once we see them in early 2019. So we have to wait for that. Again, it's not for everyone. Also, a good news for Galaxy S9 users is that you will be getting the AI features in the camera similar to the Galaxy Note 9 with the Android 9.0 Pi update, which is actually coming pretty soon. I've already done a detailed video on it, so you can watch that on my channel. Anyway, guys, that's all we have on the latest Samsung news. The Galaxy A9 2018 is official. The Samsung Galaxy S10 is coming with big AI improvements. Qualcomm Snapdragon 8150 chip is still an octa-core based processor. A wide range of colors are supposedly confirmed 
and also three models are surely confirmed thanks to a Chinese confirmation. And uh, yeah, Samsung is going to be on fire next year. You're gonna see a lot of awesome stuff. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe to the channel because we are approaching the big 1 million mark. It's almost, almost here. I will be doing a setup slash room tour thing. So yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about this and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.